I'm sorry, I know I don't know you, but I'm just getting this like energy. I'm I'm a medium. I'm a small in the clothes usually. What was that? What? I'm getting ripped tonight. R.I.P. that obtuse rubber goose green moose glove. Obtuse tiny sneak birthday cake large fried chocolate shake. First of all, thank you for noticing. I try to tell people that my nose is crooked, but they don't always believe me. Um, secondly, I don't know how you sleep, man, but it has nothing to do with the way I sleep. It's because I broke my face once. I'll show you. Here's right after it happened. Here's a couple days later. Some other time. And then here's after I had surgery. I had to wear a nose cast for two weeks, and I also have a fake orbital bone for the rest of my life. But my nose is still crooked, so thank you again for noticing. I really don't want to upset any of my female followers, but I'm so tired of girls being like, oh, all men are dogs. That's not right. That's not fair. There are so many great dogs out there. I don't know why you think it's okay to compare them to men. I swear, you are like the only one I have left. I am this close to falling off the deep end. <laughs> I know I'm smiling right now, but the light inside me is dying. Uh, what? <sighs> hey, if any of you are looking for any last minute gift ideas for me, I have one. I'd like Frank Shirley, my boss, right here tonight. I want him brought from his happy holiday slumber over there on Melody Lane with all the other rich people. And I want him brought right here with a big ribbon on his head. And I want to look him straight in the eye and I want to tell him what a cheap, lying, no good, rotten, four flushing, low life, snake licking, dirt eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood sucking, dog kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, fat ass, bug eyed, stiff legged, spiny lipped, worm headed sack of monkey shit he is. Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the Tylenol? One thing you can't go a day without. And like, not just like food and water and some like, you know, like, something. Attention. This is stupid beauty filter. Now it's off. Okay. So, I'm just gonna try to make this short, but it's gonna be hard for me. I was scrolling through Instagram and I came across this page that was like, showing um, celebrities like before and after. Uh, plastic surgery and Botox and lip fillers and all the stuff, but they were all people that said that they didn't have any surgery or fillers or Botox or whatever else. And like, they clearly did. And that is so annoying to me um, because there's just this standard of what we're supposed to look like. And the people that set this standard don't even look like that. And I don't blame them because of the amount of criticism that they get about their looks, because for whatever reason, the internet uh, makes people think that you should comment on other people's looks. Like, no, you shouldn't, it doesn't matter. Your opinion is literally so relevant on the way someone looks. Like, stop, and probably the most things. But it's just so sad that they feel the need to get all this work done and then lie about it, so then all of their millions of people that they influence think that like you should naturally look like that but no one naturally looks like that and they don't even look like that after all the surgery and it's just this vicious never-ending cycle of being told you don't look good enough and then they get work done and lie about it and then still use photoshop and <coughs> everything else and it's just so unrealistic and stupid so <sighs> just annoys me so here's my acne today i'm at this confusing place in life where i'm getting wrinkles but still have acne so that's cool um but i just wanted to say uh number one your opinion on the way someone else looks doesn't matter so like stop stop giving it and number two uh these people that you feel like you have to look like they don't even look like that so don't don't worry about it don't worry about it you know what makes someone beautiful being nice if you're nice you are beautiful that's all there is to it. But if you're mean, it doesn't matter how physically beautiful you are. You're not, you're not, you're not. <laughs> God, I'm so eloquent. <laughs> they say that this filter is supposed to show all the colors that you have in your eyes. What's your long emo song title? Start with, I don't really care about. Insert the last thing you went to the doctor for. Then we'll say, but I'm here for. And then insert the object to your left, comma. Insert the name of the last person you texted. I don't really care about my ear infection, really but I'm here for my paper mache rabbit head, Juliana. Now, I want to address something. I saw a comment and I've had like 
millions of comments over the years that say, eh, stop talking like a baby. Why are you talking like a baby? Blah, blah, blah. First of all, I'm older than babies, so if anything, they talk like me. Secondly, I don't talk like a baby. And I don't talk like a baby. <laughs> That's not what you do. Um. Oh, sorry, I'm burping. Um. Maybe this would be like talking like a baby or like a baby kind of voice. But I don't talk like a baby. I just talk and it just sounds like it's coming from someone smaller than me. I want to respond to this comment because it's a comment I've received before. Um, for the last nine years I've been on social media. And it's just so wild to me. Number one, you do not know me. I do not know you. And that is a very, very bold claim to make about someone you know nothing about. Number two, you're clearly not a doctor because if you were a doctor, you would know that there are plenty of reasons that people have high-pitched voices. And in fact, I've never had a doctor say anything to me about my voice. They weren't even shocked at all. And number three, if you do believe that this happened to me as a young, innocent child, why are you speaking about it so casually? Like, that's not right. Like, have a little coof because that's horrific and not something to just throw out there like it's no big deal it's my birthday i can steal what i want to hey that's my car no it's okay it's my birthday hi i'm kevin bacon and i think kevin McAllister is going to get the craziest tonight hi i'm kevin smith and i think kevin McAllister is going to be the craziest tonight hi i'm kevin malone and i think kevin McAllister is going to be the craziest tonight hi i'm kevin and i think kevin McAllister is going to be the craziest tonight Kevin James, and I think Kevin McAllister is going to be the craziest tonight. I'm giving you a <laughs> Okay, so I ordered a painting from Paint Your Life, and I'm about to open it. I am very excited. I already feel like I'm about to cry. Oh. <laughs> My baby girl. This is the most incredible thing that I own officially. If you guys don't know, I lost my dog Paris. She was like 14 and a half and she was the love of my life. So this painting means more to me than anything I own besides my dog Zero, obviously. Let me go show my family. Oh my, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. That's hand painted too. Painted. It's hand painted. Oi, wow. It's oil. It looks exactly like oh my girl. My God. I get this comment a lot and it's fine. Um, but no one's ever like, wow, what a relief that you haven't died. Or like, oh I'm so glad you're alive on this planet. They're just like, oh I thought you died, but here you are alive. That makes no difference to me. You know, I don't know much, but I definitely don't know why we label boobs and batteries the same way, like A, double A, D's, others. Stitch this and tell me what kind of dog breed you would be. I think I would be a Maltese, like my little guy Zero, um, because I'm pretty small, I'm white, and I'm crusty, and uh, we have Napoleon Syndrome, so we yell at things that are bigger than us. And even though we are small, we would do our best to protect anyone we love, right Zero? Your middle name backwards is supposed to sound fancy. Schla. No. Nope. I've never done a stitch this video before, so here I go. Stitch this with a cartoon impression. I'll go first. Pika you Pika Pika Pee Pika Okay, what do I do? Make some Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> Still is. Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I just wish things would get better. I'm trying to get rid of them, but nothing seems to stay the same. Woke up in the morning. Um, I just cried watching a video about a dad that lost his fish, so it reminded me of when I was little and I had pet fish, and I loved my fish so much. His name was Slimy Sammy, 
and um, every time he died, my dad would take him to the vet to get him shocked back to life. Um, but in reality, he was actually going to Walmart at like midnight um, to buy me a new fish. And I did think it was a little weird sometimes when Slimy Sammy would come home looking kind of different. But um, I just assumed it was whatever procedure the vet did to him. And then when I was like 17, I was telling my cousins that my goldfish was like 12 years old or something and that my dad got him shocked back to life at the vet and my oldest cousin just started laughing at me and then I started crying because I didn't know until that time that that wasn't a thing that could actually be done. <laughs> well, um, anyways, my last Slimy Sammy, Slimy Sammy the fifth or, or whatever he was, he actually lived for like a very long time. He died when I was a senior in high school and I cried a lot. Here's a picture of him. He was like actually really big and, and old at this point, but, but that's all. I don't think Walmart sells fish anymore. I don't know. Could be wrong. Yeah, I might not be the prettiest or the funniest or the smartest. I got a phone call today and I answered it because I'm like, so nice. And they were like, hey, is Raina there? And I was like, no, sorry, you have the wrong number. And then he was like, oh, okay, are your parents home? which is scary and annoying because I am 29 and this stuff happens to me every single day and actually my mom was home. <laughs> she was right next to me and she heard it so she could vouch for it because some of you think I make this stuff up. I don't have to make it up. These things happen to me literally every day. No need to make it up. Who which are voice you? Fits Megan me? the motherfucking stallion. Who are you? Billy Eilish. Who are you? First off, who are you? <laughs> who are you? I'm Doja Cat. I just actually came out here to remove myself from you, but you followed me out here. That's right. And what day is it? It doesn't Does matter. My boyfriend He's think I'm love me forever. I have my dad's so I should work out. I need a nap. Do I have COVID? I'm starving. Why am I cold Parents and sweaty? Pylorus. Obsessive compulsive dingbat. When will I be murdered? I'm allergic to apples. That's sad. I swear you are like the only one I have left. I am this close to falling off the deep end. <laughs> I know I'm smiling right now, but the light inside me is dying. Uh, what? But Don't get it twisted, bitch. Even with no filter, I shit on you hoes. And she doesn't need foundation. Mm -hmm. Thank you and God bless. Oh. oh, sorry. What is this? What is this? I just got engaged, I mentioned that, that's exciting, and uh, yeah, so, oh, thanks, yeah, she's awesome, thank you, it's sweet, ah, oh, she's the best, I love her, uh, but uh, I gotta say, if any- <laughs> Can you do a chef's kiss? <laughs> I think I might be pregnant. Uh-oh. Hmm. <laughs> So you can hear me. <laughs> the disrespecting fact. Wait. It's scientifically proven that only 1% of the population can turn their tongue to the left, to the right, roll it, and do a clover. Let's see who else can.